Tell a friend to tell a friend that do it all haul is in. And we're back with another NBA 2K24 Next Gen Bill video. And today I have a special Victor Wimbenyama Bill for you guys, man. And I've been watching him play in the preseason, man. And dude is a straight cheat code, man. You know what I'm talking about? So if you have been watching him or if you don't know anything about him, man, he's technically about seven foot three, you know. But to go seven foot three on this game, I don't think it's worth it. Um, so we are going to go a little bit shorter with this build, but you do have the finishing. You got the big man contact dunks. You have the close shot, the mid-range shooting, the three-point shooting, ball handle, good passing, and the defense. So make sure you watch the video to the end so I can show you this masterpiece. Choose the hand of your choice and the jersey number of your choice. Let's get it, man. But before I go any further, you already know what time it is. If you don't know, now you know. It's like button time, and I need you guys to go down there and hit that like button. Get this video to 100 likes, and if you haven't already, hit the link in the description to join the Discord. So with this particular build, like I I said we're going to take the height down some seven foot one is probably the best height for this bill i got a seven one bill that i call my victor women yummy bill but this is just not fast enough for me but that's my personal preference um with this bill we're going seven one two forty one on the weight seven six wingspan let's get into it so let's go ahead and start with the finish and of course you know the, the dude is super tall with long arms so he don't have to jump too high to dunk uh, this build is kind of similar so for the close shot we're going to take that up to a 71 so when you get around the rim you won't miss those easy shots on the driver layup we're just going to take that up to an 80 i mean a 70 because the close shot gave us what we need with fearless finisher on the driver dunk we're going to take that up to an 80 which is pretty good a lot of people may want to take that down but i do have an 80 driver dunk on my victor Wimbayama bill and it does work really really good because you do have the ball handle and you have the speed with ball with this build on the standard dunk we're going to get that up to an 83 we do get the pro big man contact dunks with this build and that's pretty good okay so uh let's go ahead and take the vertical up now you can take the vertical to a 75 if you want to um you don't necessarily have to take it to an 80 like i did but that's what i did i gave the build a lot of strength now we want this build to be really really strong in the paint to get that gold brick wall get gold and movable enforcer get hall of fame box and things of that nature and you also get silver bullet while you're at it so um if you want gold bullet of course you know just take it up to a 92 on the strength uh but i don't think you need it but silver bullet is pretty good though okay now let's go back up and as you can see we do get rides up on silver area wizard on silver fast twist silver precision dunk and silver now if you want to change any of these as you can see you need a 90 close shot or a 92 standard dunk to get it to go for the fast twist for the rise up you need a 90 standard dunk and a 67 vertical we got the vertical so you had to get the standard dunk to a 90 area wizard uh, we have the vertical and you need the driving layup or driving dunk or standard dunk okay so one of the of, of the three okay and precision dunk if you want to get that up you see you need a 90 standard dunk or a 90 driving dunk uh, we didn't add any post control on this build. You can th put some on there if you want to. It's totally up to you. But now let's go ahead and get to the green bean. Make your girl screen badge. This build does have an 83 point shot, and that's pretty good in my opinion to have that 83 point shot on this build. And we took the mid range shot up a little bit more than the three point shot because we do want gold catch and shoot. And in order to get gold catch and shoot, you need the mid range shooting or the three point shooting. We can't get the three point shooting, so we're going to settle for the mid range shooting, which is pretty good. On the free throw, we're going to take that to a 60. A lot of people probably think that's too low. I think that's enough. But that's just me. Um, I think you can go out there and make free throws with that. But in the event that you want to change the free throw, change it. Okay? I see a lot of people come in the comments with negativity, man. And I don't have time for that. Okay? So if you don't like the bill, just don't create the bill or change what you want to change. You don't have to give this whole um i have a dream speech in the comments man and try to explain why you're doing what you're doing just go do it man you feel what i'm saying so for the um the 83 point shot we do get a lot of good badges as you can see and we will get more options because we have that 82 mid-range shot on this bill because um that does uh, unlock more um bases and releases when you're creating a jump shot okay but let's go ahead and get into the south but before we do i need you guys to do me a huge favor right Go down there, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that share button, and let the video play to the end because that will push the video to the recommended page so everybody named mama can see this video. And I need everybody named mama to see the video. So do that for your boy, boy. Pass accuracy, we're going to get that up to a 77, which is pretty good. A 77 pass accuracy does give us bronze needle thread. If you don't want bronze needle thread, guess what? Take it to a 75. Simple as that. You don't have to uh, worry about um, if you can get the badge or not because you won't get it at 75. But we got it on this particular build, and I think a 77 passing is pretty good this year. Now, on the ball handle, we took that up to a 63, and we took the speed with ball to a 50. Um, I think that's pretty good. 
Um, as you can see, we do get what well, we will get big driver once we take, let's take the speed and acceleration up. Okay, so we do get big driver on this build. Big driver is on silver. Okay, if you want it on gold, take the uh, weight down so you can get more ball handling and things of that nature. But um, normally I would do the weight, I mean the strength about an 84 to a 90 and this particular build has a 90. Um, my build has an 84 strength and I do fine, you know what I'm saying? But a 90 is going to be even better, man. That immovable enforcer is a really, really good badge, okay? So, uh, with this build, we do have, um, big driver at least, okay? But now, let's get into the defense. So, with the defense on this build, you know, you really want to do certain things on defense, right? So, interior defense, I always try to get that up to an 82 to get post lockdown on at least silver, you know, that will help you out. In the paint, it tells you it improves the defender's ability to defend post moves. So, when somebody try to come in the paint to do post moves on you, you will be able to combat that with the interior defense, okay? For the perimeter defense, we took that up this time, man. We took it up to a 58. Nothing special. Uh, we just get off-ball pets on this build. We can't get no other badge, as you can see. Uh, we are too tall to get any of these badges, man. And we can't get Challenger because we can't even get that much perimeter defense. So, uh, we're going to leave it at a 58, and I think that should be good. Now, on this build, we did take the steal up a little bit. I see some people complaining about that. So, uh, we do got a 60 steal, so you can at least get intercept on this build. So, having intercept on bronze is pretty good for a build like this. You can jump some passing lanes and get you some steals, and they probably won't give you those crazy animation that you get when you don't have steal. So, I think this is pretty good. On the block, now, I normally take this to a 92. Sometimes I take it to an 87, but... Um, I made this mistake when I created my seven foot one bill. Now you can't get um, Hall of, I mean you can't get gold chase down artists because of the um, the speed. Okay, but you can get anchor on gold if you want to. Just take it to a 92. Um, I think that'll be pretty good, but I just left it at 87 this time. I think that's pretty good, if you ask me, man. An 87 block, um, you're already 7 foot 1. You got long arms on this build. Um, I think you'll be just fine. Then you got that golden movable enforcer. So, um, anchor is a good badge this year, but, you know, silver is fine, in my opinion. For the rebound, we're going to take the offensive rebound to a 93 so we can get Hall of Fame box on this build. As you can see, we go to 92, we don't get it. So we got Hall of Fame box, and that 90 strength will help us hold the box out. And we got Hall of Fame box. We got Pogo on goal, we got rebound chase on goal, and we're going to bump the defensive rebound up to an 80. I like to get it a lot closer, like an 85, but you know, sometimes you have to do what you have to do. So that's what we got on the defense, and I think this is a pretty good defending build. Uh, we got a 62 speed, 52 acceleration, 90 on the strength, 80 on the vert, and the rest is on stamina. Now let's get into these shades up. Are you ready? Because guess what? I do not clickbait. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Now look what they gave us, man. We got Wimby, yeah. But we got Chris Kamen in the middle. <laughs> and we got Sengun. So the build is a glass cleaning spot up threat. That's the build. Make sure you like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. I'm out of here, man. Charge!